exactly correct. And they've got something that, uh, well, I don't think anybody else's pictures have got. The time came when I felt that she wasn't just a disabled person painting a picture. She did a painting of some apple blossom. This picture was sold and it was bought by somebody who didn't know she was a mouth painter. And then I realized that uh, it, it was more than just a disabled person's painting. And I felt it was time that she stood on her own, although I must say it, it upset me very much and I felt very dreadful about it. And I missed her dreadfully, her lessons. I can count on the fingers of one hand the people who really stand out in my life, and she's one of them. As well as pursuing her twin careers of painting and dance, Elizabeth makes time to help the disabled. This began when she became a founder member of the Aedes Trust, whose president is Prince Philip. A vital aspect of the trust is its work for disabled children known as the Toy Aids. Off-the-counter toys are adapted for handicapped children reducing their sense of deprivation and teaching them that their lives can be helped by electronics. Little Charlotte, a sufferer from Hoffman's disease, shows Elizabeth how some of them work. Well, that's remarkable. It is fantastic, isn't it, yes. Elizabeth, actually? Um, with the two sections switch, you see, um, Charlotte was controlling that little dog with this switch, she was making it go forward. And with this switch here, she was making it do a somersault. And when you think, Elizabeth, that some of these children have never actually been able to control a toy of their own before, uh, and this presents a unique opportunity for them to extend their fingers, or if they haven't hands, their feet. So she was actually using her elbow for that yes, one? Yes, she was indeed. And her fingers for this one? Ladies and gentlemen, our guest of honor this evening, Miss Joanna Lumley. Thank you. very warmly on behalf of the directors of Alders and the mouth and foot painting artists. Now this exhibition is the work of a unique partnership of worldwide handicapped artists whose income is solely derived from the sales of greeting cards, calendars and other art reproductions. This afternoon I had a sneak preview of the paintings and I met one of the artists, Elizabeth Twistington Higgins. Do you work from life? The actual ballet movements, I can still remember how they should be done and how to do them, but as I'm teaching them all the time, it's very much easier, I think, now that I teach. Yes. I think you get more movement. Because, because you can't, you see, you can't do a thing like that without having actually done it, can you? You couldn't, you I couldn't draw it. Not, no, I, I think you get more life if you've done it. Yes. You know exactly what you're trying to portray. I really haven't forgotten anything I ever learnt or did. Do you have a particular favourite? I mean, um, well, I, I like my leaping dance. The leaping dance? Yes, but I, I'm rather pleased to see the bottom one again. The ribbon dance, La Fille Malgarde. That's lovely. La Fille Malgarde. Yes, that's enchanting. That's enchanting. And the newest one is the water nymphs, this end. But that's pure imagination, isn't oh, it? Oh, absolutely. Actually, I started that upside down. I painted 
had the uh, paper put upside down for one figure. Which one? Which one was that? The, the um, centre one? No. It's the one on the left. Yes. Yeah. Now, she cannot be with us tonight, because at this moment, she's being placed in her iron lung for her night's rest. To me, she sums up the whole spirit of these amazing people whose work you're about to see. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. In the better sort of um, art world, they'd probably be marked up one or 50 or one or 25. <laughs> I think that's incredible, but I'm really, really it Might it would take me longer if I hadn't done half of it before yes. I came out. Yes, I know. I, I mean, it's difficult working under pressure with all these Watching Elizabeth, it is easy to forget that she cannot breathe naturally. Yet she not only trains and rehearses her group, but choreographs the dancers. Elizabeth also designs the costumes, and her co-director, Sheila Large, plays an important part in this work. Because this one, she's at Romsey, she split this under the arm. When Elizabeth has got a new ballet, we arrange an afternoon, and there's usually loads and loads of material. Quite often, Elizabeth has done a sketch to give me an idea of the sort of thing that she wants. Sorry. And what have you got in mind for this piece on the back? Come down a little bit where I can see this piece. Well, I don't know, I think ordinary white lawn, really rather. Puritan, I think. We have to use your imagination. Yeah. That, that start flu, not the we no, drape pieces of material this way and that. We'll try out headdresses. Sometimes it's hard to understand. She's got a picture in her mind of exactly what she wants. She works the routines out herself. And she has her own idea of what they should look like. And although we will do the choreography that she's set, we don't create the picture that she wants. Some days, perhaps you're not quite on the same wavelength, and you just don't seem able to get it right. And I have, on two or three occasions here, been reduced to tears myself, of, which really are frustration at not being able to interpret what it is that she wants us to do. So we then have to start altering it until we do get just what she wants. She won't settle for anything but exactly what she wants. Really hard. I hope I'm right, she oh, loves it. <laughs> You'll have to refold it all completely. <laughs> Why are you oh. always right? I don't think I'm going to be today. Can you just take it off the other hand? Mm. Okay. All right, a little bit near. Okay. Okay, fine. Bit of blue. Just a little bit. Well, fine. Squeeze in. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Right. I think I originally started painting dancing to rid me of the desire to move. In those days, painting was my only artistic outlet. People are always saying, how long does it take you to paint a picture? It may take weeks, I just don't time myself. I probably throw out three to one. You know, they just, you can't just knock them off. I don't enjoy it quite as much as I did, because having moved on to choreography, I'm really creating moving pictures now. I'm afraid I'm not a bit of complacent sort of person. It doesn't make for a happy person, I don't think. You're always slightly dissatisfied. Other people would say you're hypercritical. But um, I think in, in our profession as dancers, you've got to be overcritical, you've got to be terribly self-critical. 
Well, there's no good there's doing your best. You've got to do more than your best. I think you've always got to have an aim. And you've always got to have a goal. And you've always got to set your sights higher than you think um, you can achieve. I do a lot of work when I am in the arm line because I don't have to remember to breathe. So often, the best ideas for my ballet spring to life when I should be asleep. After 20 years, Elizabeth returns to the West End. At All Souls Langham Place, she puts the dancers through the final rehearsal before the performance. That was very much better. Karen, can we just do your run in and work it out with Bob, do you mind? Yes. With the word? And Malcolm, can I just have a word with you? Do you think you can bring in the music quicker? You know where Karen's... Do you want me to hold it up until he's finished his words? Um, no, Karen should be running up the steps on the last line. And then pick up, as she gets to the top step, pick up the music, cut in straight away. On the whole, it was fine, but it does lack life. Can you really put a bit more into it? Mm -hmm. right. Do you think? Any problems? Um, there was with the Magnificat when the four of us walk forward and Karen comes in front. Oh, and do you think you could pair that out together yeah. then? Yeah. Yeah. Spend the lunch yes. Yeah. yes, we'll do that. Because Elizabeth yeah. works closely with the Reverend oh, John Hall and the talk age occasional singers to create a harmonious blend of dance and song. Elizabeth must leave now if she is to reach the hospital in time for the nightly ritual of the Iron Lung. Good afternoon. I hope that our program this afternoon will illustrate our conviction that Jesus came to break down the barrier between the sacred and the secular. He demonstrated the sacredness of ordinary everyday things. Who am I that the mother of my Lord should visit me? <laughs> 